In the last video, uh, we learned uh, the Neiman Pearson lemma for finding a most powerful test of size alpha. And this video is really just meant to be an example, uh, another example of applying uh, that theorem. So let's suppose we start out with a single data point, so n equals 1, sample of size 1, from uh, a distribution with this PDF here, so theta uh, times x to the theta minus 1 over the interval from 0 to 1. And we have two competing hypotheses. They're both simple. So the null hypothesis is that theta is equal to 1, which notice makes this uh, into the uniform 0, 1 distribution. And the alternative is that theta is equal to 2. And we've got a test of size alpha, and we want to find the best test of size alpha. So the Neiman Pearson lemma says to take a look at this lambda, which uh, will be a function of the two values of the parameter, namely 1 and 2, where the data are fixed, right? Your one sample point, x, is fixed. And it's defined as the likelihood evaluated at 1 divided by the likelihood evaluated at 2. So that's the likelihood under the null versus the likelihood under uh, this simple alternative. Well, under the null, you just have the indicator over 0 to 1. And under the alternative, you have 2x times that indicator. So we're left with 1 over 2x. And the Neiman Pearson lemma says that the, te the best test uh, of size alpha would be the one that sets this ratio less than or equal to k for the x value in the critical region. Uh, and we want to find k such that the probability that you know this critical region is of size alpha. So that means 1 over 2x is less than or equal to k when theta is equal to 1, that should happen um, with probability alpha. And so in this example, we set alpha equal to 0 0.05. And if right now things are in terms of a function of x, we might want to get it so that it's just in terms of x, because we know the distribution of x under the null. So we can rearrange a bit and get this to be the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1 over 2k under the null hypothesis that theta is equal to 1. And we know that x is uniform 0, 1. So we might uh, just write this in terms of the CDF of the uniform 0, 1, which is easy to evaluate. So you'd have 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 1 over 2k under the null is 1 minus f evaluated at 1 over 2k, where this f is the CDF of the uniform 0, 1. So based on the fact that we're setting this probability, this probability needs to be equal to uh, 5%. So 1 minus this probability should be equal to um, 95%, 0.95. So we should have, based on the fact that the CDF of the uniform 0, 1 uh, is just the function um, f of x is equal to x on 0, 1, uh, this should tell us that we would get out 1 over 2k uh, is equal to 0.95, which tells us that if we needed k, k in this case will be 0.95. 526. So that's just a little bit of algebra here solving for k. So now if you wanted to go back and actually write the rejection region in terms of x, which could be helpful, um, what you would do in that case is use this formula here, which gives us the rejection region. And we just found the specific rejection region for a test of size alpha, so that was specifying k to be this value here. So if we plug in k here, and then rearrange in terms of x, we will find 
you know, how would you reject the null hypothesis based on the data point that you observe? Uh, we would see, so just doing that algebra, if we observed an x greater than or equal to 0.95, we would reject the null hypothesis. So this is our best critical region of size alpha. And this should make some intuitive sense because we're deciding between uh, a uniform 0, 1 distribution and another distribution. Uh, and it, it seems intuitive that you would collect the, the data point that you would collect, if it's too high, you might reject the uniform 0, 1 in terms of this other distribution. And so, how high? Well, at level. Uh, at size alpha equals 0 0.05, it makes sense that we would reject a value that's high, maybe at 0.95, right? So at least the intuition is that this test is giving you rejection in the right direction, namely if you got a data point that's too high. 